Hey everybody, today is Friday and we're going to have the weekend right in front of us and then it's going to be turkey day. And I would like to know what are y'all's plans for Thanksgiving. Um, we are going to go to my son's house to uh, have Thanksgiving and they wanted me to make banana pudding and broccoli with cheese sauce and I think that's all and so we're gonna do that and my other children like my oldest daughter I think is having Thanksgiving just with her family and then my next daughter goes to her fiance's family for Thanksgiving so that's where she'll be and Kaylin, of course, will be with us. So it's going to be a fun time. And, uh, and all. And then before you know it, Christmas will be here. And I always say, once you get past Halloween, it just flies by. And I kind of hate that because I really enjoy the season, the good feeling you get, uh, hearing the music, watching the Cookie Bake Off song, the cooking channel, and uh, just spending time with friends and all that good stuff. So... Uh, just make every day count. I guess that's what I'm going to have to do so that I'll have a year's worth of memories till next year. But, um, you know, when you plan something, it usually gets messed up. So I'm going to quit saying, well, I was going to cook, but because today I was going to cook, but my husband got called in for rehab. Where he had, where he was in the wreck, it was with, um, I think I told you already, Republic. They pick up your trash, and um, they have those big trucks, and my son-in-law and his son Randy and Kaylin were sitting at a lot in the Republic truck, Randy was the man who was driving the Republic truck, was he drinking? Yeah. Okay. He smelled on his breath. Okay. I didn't want to say it without knowing it was true. Yeah. But, uh, anyway, he, he ran into the back of our truck, and I, I think I didn't even finish saying who was in the car, but it was my son-in-law, his son, uh, and his son is uh, in second grade, Charlie, Randy, and Kaylin. And they've all gone through um, chiropractic work. And uh, some of them are doing rehab. So I had to take him to rehab. And so I'm only going to show what I can show today. And I know y'all never make me feel bad about it. Uh, if you don't get to see it today, you'll get to see it tomorrow. Let me just get a good breath and I'll... Today's a little bit hard on the old breathing. So I would like to show you my cards. And the first one, I got several uh, where they wrote notes. And that was fun. I enjoyed that. But this first card, I'm not going to say the sender's name. But she just lost her mom. Just lost her mom. It doesn't say how many days or weeks ago or, or what. But she does say, I just recently lost my mom. So there is therapy for me to check on others during the holidays. You are doing such a wonderful and kind 
thing by, tr by checking on people, but I want you to know if I could give you a big old hug, I would. It is so hard to go through losing somebody that you love. And I was just telling my husband the other day, if I just had five more minutes with my mom, she would turn blue because I'd hug her so hard she would never get out of my grips. Me and my mom were very close. And, uh, if you need a Kleenex, you can't find one here. I wonder if the neighbor has one. Anyway, we were very close. And her death was not pleasant for her. And... She was scared of death, like a lot of us are. And so I'm really hoping that uh, that this lady, I don't want to say her name, but I hope that you have beautiful memories and I'm sure that your mom loved you to pieces. And you just don't ever forget that. So, I think I met my quota for blubbering today. And I wish I knew where I put the Kleenexes, but... Oh, I see them. They're way out of my reach. Well, they weren't that bad. Okay. So now I'm gonna move on with no blubbering. As Kane and my little two-year-old granddaughter says, no, no, no. So we'll have no blubbering. And I'm gonna show you the rest of my cards. That's very pretty. Nice Thanksgiving card. Look at that nice cup of coffee. And that's true. Pretty bird. Pretty butterflies. Little tiny bunny rabbit. Isn't that sweet? I love little bunny rabbits. I'm thinking about changing from butterflies and bees to bunny rabbits and something. Or maybe just bunny rabbits. I just love bunny rabbits. So I don't know why I've said butterflies and bees when I love bunnies. I don't know. Look at this. This is a homemade. It was made by the lady who sent it to me. So much talent. I go to church with a lady. She used to be into the envelope, I mean, the uh, card making back years ago. And so she brought all her supplies to church one day and had ladies of the church come and make cards and stuff, you know, just make it for yourself, for you to send whatever you wanted. And I'm telling you, she could have started a store with everything that she had. It was awesome. And here's a card. Kind of like a postcard in a way. Very pretty colors. And here's another with flowers. And a big old turkey. And 
And I can't remember, did I show you the big doggy? I don't think I did. But he's pulling up the rear. So I spoke with Jessica, my soon to be, hopefully, daughter-in-law, or soon to be, yeah, daughter-in-law. And she said tomorrow she's putting up the card thing. So I will be hanging all these then. And when Christmas is over, I'm going to leave up the the uh, hanging things. And when y'all send a card for this or that, you know, get well or thinking of you or happy birthday or any of that, I'll just start fresh and hang new cards and rotate and all that. And that will be what I do. Then I'm going to show you this. Okay. Uh, a sweet lady na named Lay, Lee, L-E-A-H, sent me this. And is this the um, quarter thing that they have for Aldi, because it's got a little patch there, and then you, I am sure it just now dawned on me, that's what that is, and I am tickled to get it, I've heard about these, but never have been able to get one, I haven't found any, where they sell them, but anyway, I love it, thank you, I'm going to Get my purse and get a quarter out as soon as we finish and hook it on my keychain. I love that. Everybody needs an Aldi quarter holder. And if you don't know what that's for, when you go to Aldi's, they have buggies sitting outside. They're pushed into each other, you know, hooked or whatever you say. And you put your quarter in the little thing on the handle. And your buggy will unhook from the other buggies. And then you shop. And when you're finished, what lots and lots of people do is just instead of taking your buggy back to the place, to buggy heaven, they uh, just take the buggy to somebody they see that hadn't got their buggy yet and just give them their buggy and tell them to not worry about it the quarter, you know. Very sweet. Now, after all that excitement, I might be wrong. Because also, with that, is this. And it is a little pocket hug. I think you can see it. And I think that fits in here perfectly. It does. So what we're going to do, we're going to put both of them in here. There is room, I am real sure, for both. And so, there you go. I am really tickled about that. And I had a little pouch as a little gift pouch. So anyway, I'm gonna put it back in here so I don't lose it in the bed. <coughs> <coughs> and as y'all might wonder, do I ever get out of the bed? Well, the answer to the burning question is I do. But I, I have such a terrible back. I don't know if y'all know if I've said one day I'll do a little short. I'll have to have Randy film it but of my back. But I fell not long after I broke my hip here at the house. I fell in the bathroom and when I fell back 
I fell on a wooden chest. Kind of like a hope chest in a way, but it was, I had it in the bathroom with towels and things in it. And when I did, I fell directly on my back and I broke some vertebrae. And I have, or I think it's vertebrae, I broke something. There's two big knots that stick way out that give me such pain you wouldn't believe. But, uh, and now my spine is kind of going at an angle a little bit. And if I'm not comfortable on this bed or somebody's bed, and I've never been in nobody else's bed, that I can recall. But uh, uh, my back hurts so bad. So I just lay here and and uh, I, I wanted to go like on Burke, not Burke, is it Burke? Christian Tours. It's not in Burke County, but well, I have a book right here, but I want to act like I know this without having to look. Yeah, Burke Christian Tours. We got this in the mail the other day, and I was looking through it, and I'm like, Randy, we could... <coughs> we could go somewhere, and I wouldn't have to worry about driving because they drive these big buses and you know not go too far off uh Kaylin said she wanted to go to Smoky Mountains but I'd like to go somewhere maybe a little bit further than that I've never been to New York and I've always thought I'd like to go there from what I see on TV but anyway um I told Randy I said any idea today I told him after I got back from taking him to the doctor, I said, if I had any ideas of going somewhere with you uh, on the tour, I might have to, my back's gonna have to get better because I couldn't even just sit in the seat without being able to lay back or lay sideways or whatever. And I doubt people are gonna wanna give me their seat so I can lay down, so. Anyway, that's okay. That is okay. So now, I got something. And it took me just a second to realize why I got this. And I thought, well, how smart. And it, the gift is, it's two gifts. And they're from Carrie. And I have told you, that I want to try wearing my teeth again because I'm really uncomfortable with people seeing this mouth like it is. So today I got these two gifts and it didn't take me long to figure out why you can't get nothing past me. But it's a two pack of fix dent maximum hold and sea bond and I had told you my teeth to swap around so these things will help keep them in my mouth more securely and like I said I thought what a sm smart person and so I'm gonna try this one day soon and see how it works for me Here's another bag, one of those uh, bags like Amazon uses. And then I have one more gift that I'd like to show you. And then I have one more thing I want to tell you. But Ted, and I'm sure your name is Ted. If I forgot, I am sorry. But I'm pretty sure it's Ted. I knew till I had to say it. But anyway, he sent me another package today, another food package. And believe me, what he sends to eat is amazing. 
and I am so excited about uh, what he sent today. And I'll show you in a minute. Be patient. But this little cute card was on, was in the package, and I just thought it was so cute. And I want to read to you. This is the founder of the company, uh, Gold Belly. And the only thing I can figure out about why they call it Gold Belly is you're putting these really good foods in your belly and it's like gold. Isn't that smart? So, I want to just read it to you. At Gold Belly, we believe, in, we believe in the emotional power of food. For many of us, food is a language of love. It's more than just nourishment. It's memories, it's connection, it's comfort. We understand how truly important our mission is. We are here to bring a smile to people's faces, an edible hug, and a connection to a loved one, even though you may not be with them, a, mo a moment of nostalgic comfort, a craving from a beloved food memory. We believe that food brings people together, so we've created a place that connects people with their greatest food memories, experiences, and desires. We've built a platform that empowers small shops, chefs, and restaurants, and inspires their passion. Our mission is to bring you comfort through food, whatever you dream of, wherever you are. And I think that is uh, a wonderful message about food because it's something we have to have to live and uh, to have just that wonderful connection with people, with food, memories, and all that. I really like to hear what the man the founder had to say about it. And then there's this cute uh, card thing. Anyway, that's that. Now I'm going to show you what he sent me. As soon as I figure out how to open it. Okay. This is what he sent. And the, he sent four ribeyes. And I feel really blessed with these. I want to thank you so much for those. That is, I don't know what to say. That is some of the best eating I will ever do or those steaks. I, I see people eating things like that, and I think, boy, that looks good. And I bet it is good, and I'm going to find out. So, thank you, Ted. You've, uh, you've really been a blessing. You have given quite a few boxes and stuff that have made us feel special and have a good filled up warm belly and stuff and I just really want to thank you and so that was that and now the last thing I want to share with you is something that I I enjoy reading these and sometimes you get really good ideas or hacks or tips or whatever you want to call it. So I'm not going to take a whole lot of time because I already took up 25 minutes of your time. But what it is, is things your mother should have told you. And so there's about 20 of them, but I'm, like I say, not going to go too slow. But the first thing is, when you buy bananas and you get home with them, take them all apart. 
they will not uh, ripen as quickly if you just take them all apart. Uh, if you have open cheese, wrap it up tightly in aluminum foil. Um, but it, the cheese will stay fresh longer and it won't mold if you do it in the aluminum foil. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, green peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers, all that. On the bottom, you know, they have bumps. Well, the um, three bumps are sweeter peppers. They're better for eating, uh, like raw and so forth. And four bumps on a pepper is, uh, they're firmer and better for cooking. So, uh, there you go uh, with the peppers. And I will say, I saw this lady who was on keto. You don't have to be on keto to do this. To me, it sounds wonderful if you're really tiny or whatever and just want something good to eat. But take a pepper, a, a sweet one like a red and have three bumps on it cut it in half take your seeds out then fill it with sandwich meat or chicken salad probably to me chicken salad would be the best thing and feel you know the one half as full as you feel like you want it to be and then put the other half of the pepper on top squish it down and eat it like a sandwich i think that would be so good Okay, add a teaspoon of water when you're cooking your ground beef. Just put it along the edge, and then uh, it will help pull the grease away from your meat so it won't be so greasy. So just uh, put your uh, teaspoon of water in your pan and it will go up around the edge of your meat and pull your grease away. Uh, to make an omelet really rich, uh, and it doesn't have to be just an omelet if you just want to do your regular scrambled eggs, add a couple spoonfuls of sour cream, cream cheese, or heavy cream into your, into your bowl and beat well and cook. And it makes it like really good. For a minty frosting on your sweets, like uh, brownies, cupcakes, cake, cookies, so forth. In a double boiler, put those little Andes mints and uh, mints candy. Some places, restaurants give those as an after dinner mint. You can buy them anywhere, basically. But uh, put those in your double boiler and let all that melt down, stir it up and let it melt down. Then pour it over whatever you choose to pour it over. And uh, it makes a really wonderful, unique kind of icing. Uh, I think it would be good to take maybe chocolate chip cookies and make a layer of them then put a a layer of the andes melted candies and then put another layer of cookies and the andes and when you make as many layers as you want maybe on the top you could put some sprinkles with it or something i think that would be nice like for a holiday gathering so if you like garlic in your food like we do and I don't know anybody besides my husband that's not a huge garlic fan. Uh, if you want your garlic to have a strong flavor, say in spaghetti sauce or, or whatever, add your garlic toward the very end of cooking. If you want your food to have a very light taste of garlic, 
add your garlic at the very beginning of cooking. And uh, if you add it at the beginning, it'll kind of cook away some. That's what makes it be uh, not as strong and vice versa for uh, the other. So anyway, I didn't realize that, but now I know. Uh, this sounds good. And you wouldn't just have to use Snickers, but uh, we're going to use Snickers for this, for uh, this recipe. We're going to say Snickers, use what you want. Uh, it's a quick treat. Cut up Snickers into little diced pieces, then take you some apples. And you can figure out how many Snickers, how many apples. You peel, core, and slice a few apples. And you place the um, apples into a baking dish. Probably like an 8 by 8 Unless you've done a lot of apples and candy. And then you'd want a 9 by 13 But layer your apples in there. Sprinkle it with the candy and bake at 350 for 15 minutes uncovered and serve it with um, ice cream. Would really be delicious with it. So uh, just lay your apples down, sprinkle your candy on top of your apples, bake on 350 for 15 minutes. Serve with ice cream and bring Jan a bowl by. Uh, to heat leftover pizza, heat a non-stick skillet on medium-low till it gets warm or slightly hot. And lay your pizza, your piece of pizza, however many, down on that. And just let it sit there and the moisture absorb out of it. And it will come out nice and crispy and not soggy. Just don't leave it too long and where you get it really, really hard. And uh, just for a few minutes, I would say. And so there you have uh, a good way to heat your pizza. Now, uh, easy deviled eggs. So boil your eggs and cut them in half like you normally would and put your yolk in a, a baggie uh, like a gallon bag where they're a little stronger to work with uh, put your yolks in there and put all the ingredients mm. in there with the yolks that you would use to make deviled eggs and just take your hand and manipulate the bag till you get all that mixed uh, together real good and when you do then shove everything down to the one side or the other where there will be a point and clip off that uh, point and squeeze it into your egg and you can make cute little designs and stuff and squeeze it into your egg boat thing and when you're finished uh, doing that, you can just throw away your bag and there, that's your cleanup. Now, if you want to expand your frosting to make it more than like one small can like you buy, all you have to do is uh, put your frosting in a, a bowl and then take your beater, your mixer, and uh, for a few minutes, just mix it. Just continually mix it. And that frosting will double in size. And then it will be uh, ready to put on your cake or your um, cupcakes or uh, brownies or whatever you may use on it. And... Uh, I'll tell you, it's not on here, but another quick little help for uh, 
frosting is if you're going to frost cupcakes, stick your your container of um, icing after you've taken the lid off and after you pulled that seal thing off. Stick it in the microwave for about a minute. That should be long enough. Stir it, and if it's not kind of runny and ready to go, then maybe stick it another 15 seconds. But anyway, once it's thinned down enough, take your cupcakes and turn it upside down and dip it in your frosting and back up, and you've got a real smooth icing, and it didn't take you any time to do it. I told my daughter about that when she was doing a birthday party or something, and she uh, really liked the idea, so it worked real well for her. So to reheat refrigerated bread, I don't keep my bread in the refrigerator, but some people do, and, and that's fine. Uh, you heat your biscuits, pancakes, muffins, whatever kind of um, carb, I guess you would say, uh, in the microwave with a cup of water. And you just turn it on then to reheat it. And it reheats faster with that cup of water and it's not um, soggy or anything like that. And so there's that. Now, a newspaper weed barrier, if you have some flower plants or some vegetable plants and the weeds are just going crazy trying to take over and all, just wet you some newspaper and go lay it in the areas you need it and put a little dirt over it and uh, it will kill your weeds. Your weeds will not grow. And uh, every, uh, I'd say maybe every week, you might want to dampen the, the newspaper, just use your hose and dampen it a little bit, but uh, there your weeds are gone. Um, if you have broken pieces of glass, little shards or little, little tiny pieces, if you use a Q-tip or a cotton ball, and please be careful and just gently go over the floor or countertop or wherever, you know, going like this, trying to see if you can get it up. The wet cotton will, uh, take up all that so please please be careful if you try that uh, if you have a problem with mosquitoes put a dryer sheet in your pocket and the mosquito should leave you alone and squirrels to keep squirrels away from your uh, plants outside just sprinkle the leaves with some squirrels some cayenne pepper and uh, the squirrels will just leave your plants alone and the cayenne pepper doesn't hurt your plants at all. So uh, I hope that helps. With your vacuum cleaner, just put a, a paper towel, the brown center, once you take all the paper towels off of it, Take that brown centerpiece and put it on the end of your vacuum cleaner like it's a little extension or something. And you can get up under like refrigerators or anything that you couldn't otherwise get under. It will help you get under it easier. It may not be able to reach everything, but it will help. Uh, for... Uh, Static clean, like if you're wearing a, a dress with a slip, where the slip has the seam, uh, use a clothespin, just clip a clothespin in that seam right there, and it'll get rid of your static clean. If you have pants, then you wear 
pantyhose under it just in the top of your pantyhose not where it'll make them run but you know the top in a seam if you could uh put that pin and the static clean will stop and you can uh not have to worry about that anymore uh your measuring cups seal the measuring cup you want to use with hot hot water hold it for this or you don't have to hold it set it down or whatever for a minute or two till the cup is kind of absorbing that heat some and then pour out your water and don't wipe your water out leave your water in there and then whatever you're going to uh, cook with whatever ingredient you need say peanut butter just put your peanut butter in there and then go over to your bowl and turn it upside down it should just fall right out every little bit of it should just fall right out and it will work like that with all your ingredients and you can also put Pam in your slots to try to help hold back on me, uh, having to clean up and all that. Uh, if you have foggy windshields, get you a, a racer board, a racer, like in school, remember the erasers? You can get those at Walmart or Home Depot or something like that. Anyway, get you a, a racer and when your car is fogged up again, just use that to wipe your windows worth and it works perfectly. Uh, if you have an envelope that you put something in that you didn't mean to and you need it back to take that item out, just take your envelope, put it in the freezer for about an hour and then go get it and immediately try to open it which it should open right up and you can get what you need out of there. So let me see, did I have any more? Just a couple. Uh, if you use conditioner and you have a lot of conditioner, just put some on your legs and shave your legs and the conditioner will make your legs smooth and silky feeling and just feel really good so i hope that helps and the last thing is ants if you have a problem with ants sprinkle cornmeal like from where the problem area is maybe to the door or you know wherever you want you could just leave it just sitting there and come back and clean it up uh, in a little bit, but I anyway, I would just let them walk out on their own and uh, the cornmeal is something they cannot digest and uh, they'll eventually die from putting that down their throat and not being able to digest it so that is all I have for today. Oh my word, I took 44 minutes almost. Well, I don't know that I'll be here this weekend to, well, I'll be here, but I don't know if I'll be posting or not. But uh, if not, I'll be here Monday. Y'all have a great weekend. Know I love you with all my heart. And I'll do like everybody does, the heart. It's a wrinkly heart. I love you with all my heart. You're all my besties and I love you. And I will see you soon. Have a great weekend. Please be safe. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. Do something kind for yourself and someone else, too.